subtraction and division. We've started by learning about multiplication, and once you really understand what multiplication means, you can use that learning to help you to understand what division means. So here I have a problem for us, 3 times 4. We know that this is saying that there are three groups, and within each group there are four tallies. So if you wanted to visualize that, there's one, two, three groups, and inside each group there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now it doesn't matter if the four comes first and then the three, this is just thinking there's four tallies within each of three groups. Either which way, I end up with 12 tallies. Now over here, I have written it over in a division problem. Notice you start with the 12. You start with the total number of tallies. What this is telling you is that you're going to take those 12 total tallies and you're going to break them up into three groups. So again, I can start by visualizing my three groups. Here's group one, here's group two, and here's group three. Now I want to take those 12 and I want to share them equally into those three groups. So I would do it like passing out cards. You want to make sure it's fair and that each group gets the same amount. So if I start and give each group one, one, two, three, I continue to add them until I get up to 12. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Notice I ended up with four in each group. There's a relationship between multiplication and division. In each of them, your two smaller numbers tells you how many groups you have and how many goes in each group. The largest number would be the total number of tallies. So if you're trying to solve the division problem and you're missing one of the small numbers, you know you can find it by drawing equal size groups. Let's practice another one together. Here I have a problem where I know I have the large number is 20, so I know I have 20 tallies. And I know I'm dividing it equally into four groups. So I would start by visualizing by drawing my four groups. One, two, three, four. Now some kids get freaked out by the word division, but really division is just sharing equally. It's what you've done since you were a little kid. So I want to take my 20 tallies and I want to share them equally within my four groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I've used up all 20, and I've shared it equally amongst the four groups, and in the end, I ended up with five in each group. I want you to solve this next problem in the same way. You start with 18 tallies and share it equally amongst three groups. Go ahead and pause the video now to find your answer, and when you're ready, start the video again to check your work. Okay, welcome back. We have 18 tallies, and we're going to share them equally within three groups. Here's group one, group two, and group three. Now, I can take a shortcut and know that if I put 5 in each group, I'd have 5, 10, 15. Now I just need a couple more to get up to 18. 16, 17, 18. Notice I have to have the same amount within each group in order to be fair. In the end, I ended up with 6 in each group. If you got that correct, you can move on to the next activity in the Learning Center.